You're doing good. You're doing good. All right. So, I know you read the title, and you're a little confused. I understand why you're confused. It's okay. But, this is the new version of Let's Talk Real Talk. Yes, I said it. It's just me by myself. It's going to be a live version. Um, I still don't know if our final audio version went up onto SoundCloud or not because I haven't checked it. And like I said, Genios, well, I didn't say it. Genios has the audio file. So um, I don't know if it's up or not. I haven't checked. But this is how we're going to be doing Let's Talk Real Talk from now on. It's going to be me. And you guys, and at physical receipts, you're gonna be seeing your receipts right up in here. So, it is what it is. So, this week on Let's Talk Real Talk, we are going to be touching on a lot because a lot has been going on in the industry. And it's been messy. So, um, you know, your girl comes with her phone at all times, you know, she be <laughs> keeping them screenshots. So, um, pretty much, I know, we've said it from time that Nicki Minaj has been on some nut shit, okay? I just seen something that I don't think I was supposed to see. So, I'm going to favorite that and maybe we'll talk about that later on in the episode um so for the past month Nicki Minaj has actually been losing her fucking mind we titled probably one of our last episodes was something about Nicki uh, and it is what it is but there's nothing we could do about that so yeah, like I was saying, it's been like some bullshit. Like Nikki has literally been losing her fucking mind. I don't know why Apple gave her a fucking radio show, but Queen Radio still exists. It still happens. Her album has been out for like two months now. So there's absolutely no reason why Queen Radio should still exist. Just saying. That has tequila in it. All right, so I might be drunk this episode. Um, so if I can get to the shade room, I could just give y'all a quick recap of a bunch of shit. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. All of that shit I just said was irrelevant as fuck. It's probably not even gonna make the cut. What I'm really here to talk about is Nikki and Cardi. That's what the whole basis of this fucking episode is gonna be Nikki and Cardi, bro. Because I'm tired of Onika Tanya Mirage. I am tired. I am tired. And I'm not gonna sit here and back up Bel Khalees just because, you know. I'm a fan of her. I'm just sick and tired of Nikki being the industry's fucking bully. Like, I don't have the time, the patience, or anything. Like I said, and I could probably pull the tweet up, I will not be listening to any Aubrey Drake Graham in 2018, and I won't be listening to any T Onika Tanya Mirage in 2018. I'm sorry, you guys got left in 2016. 2015, if we keep it, it's funky. And like, I'm just, I'm not doing it. It's just not something that... I'm willing to do is not something that I want to do, but it is what it is. So, we talked about the fashion week incident on the last episode. Like I told you guys, I don't know if the episode is out. If I can get a hold of the audio, I'll insert the audio here. If not, you know. So, with that... That was that incident happened September 9th. September 9th. It is October 30th, okay? The 30th. There's literally one day left in this fucking month. So bitch, you mean to tell me you waited a month and a half later to come onto your bullshit ass radio show that you shouldn't still have? 
and talk about what happened. Just play the audio. Just play the fucking audio because, bitch, you know, I just, I don't understand. Like, I just, I don't get it. Mm. Like really bad And I'm not trying to You know And I'm not trying to be messy You went home and told people That security hit you And we let that lie Continue because of Legal reasons I told Ra Don't tell anyone You hit her Because I don't want nobody Trying to sue me Because they're going to Come to the person with money mm -hmm. Instead, you went home and told you, I guess you had to look like a gangster in front of your friends and your family and da 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 I get it. Ra beat you so bad that I was mad at Ra. Like, Ra, I'm talking about the punches was so hard in your head that I was mad at Ra. I'm like, yo, I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck? But Ra didn't like her attitude. So... That was the first clip that hit the internet, you know, of her basically saying that Rob beat Cardi ass. But we all saw the photo, sis. She literally had one knot on her head, honey. So what are you talking about? How she beat her ass so bad. She had a one knot, my nigga. And that looked like somebody fucking elbowed her in the face. And we all saw Ross struggling, my nigga. She didn't get nowhere near her. So what are you talking about? We saw it. There's footage, bitch. There's footage. Nigga, you're too old to be fucking lying, my nigga. And like I said, I'm not trying to be biased on the situation. But my nigga, like, you're dead ass wrong. And then you're going to sit up here and you're going to fucking lie. Because you know these little ass kids is going to believe whatever the fuck you got to say. Like, if y'all was to see the fucking comments that's been going on on fucking Instagram and shit, my nigga. Like, they're really fucking trying it and i'm tired of you little ass kids my nigga i gave up my barb carb a long fucking time ago my nigga because i saw this type of mani mani blah, 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 the type of manipulation that nikki was putting y'all niggas through and i refused to be a grown-ass woman and be fucking brainwashed <laughs> so let's play the next clip you tell me i leak numbers of people i've never had in my life I've never leaked a number in my life on, on God. And y'all continue to lie on me because it's so important for you to make me look like a bad person. And I protected you from the situation of saying how badly you got beat. And that lady that was with you didn't touch Rod, didn't do a thing. Nobody that was with you did a thing and you know that. You know that. You know that. Anybody that want to pull up the surveillance footage, I will give you $100,000. Pull up the surveillance footage. Ooh. Anybody that said that, that that shit didn't happen, I don't got it. I never come up here and lie. And, and for what? A hundred bands. For what? Mm. For what? Lie for what? I didn't even go there because I'm not messy. I'm not tacky. I don't have to go around and say hi. You not what, sis? You not you not messy. You not tacky. Well, honey child, I'm here to tell you, you messy and you tacky. Yes, let's pull up the old fits. That's tacky, my nigga. That that too. That don't don't forget the chicken wing necklace, my nigga. That that that's tacky too. And then forget about the time. Yeah, that too. So. She really sitting up on the radio like and I'm happy that you have to be subscribed to Apple Music to hear this bullshit because I if the whole world was able to hear this for the free, my nigga, it would just be like And thank you all to the people who ripped the audio and was sending it into the shade room. The the Queen Radio YouTube page who has all the interviews that they post every week. Shout out to you. Shout out to to you so after queen radio was done cardi took to her instagram now about a month ago maybe two months ago i accidentally turned cardi's um instagram notifications on and i just never turned them off i don't click on them anyway who gives a fuck 
Um, but I'm happy that I never turned them off because I got some good tea yesterday, okay? So Cardi took the to Instagram to basically debunk everything that Nicki fucking said. Everything she said. And I can play those clips because you know your girl downloaded them. I can play those clips for you. Roll it. This is my thing, Nicki Minaj, right? How you saying that I got ragged by Riley when there is so many footages of that night, every single angle, and where am I getting ragged at? Why would I be here sitting in line like, oh, yeah, I did this, I did that, knowing that the next day there's going to be so much footages of that same night? And second of all, how you say... That I was the, the wild animal, that I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? You lie so much, you can't even keep up with your fucking lies. First, you're saying that you got the footage, your cameraman got the footage, but now you're talking about you want to pay somebody a 100000 if they give you the footage? Yo, make sense when you're talking. I thought you was the victim. I know what this footage of. You standing on the wall talking about, I'm standing right here, Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter. Get the fuck out of here. And since you want to bring that motorsport shit up again, I'm glad you brought it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, you changed your verse two or three times and the day before... We were supposed to do the motorsport video. You turned in your last verse of it. And I was not feeling of you talking about, oh, if Cardi the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi following it up with bitch you, my son, go sit on a party. Bitch, you not my coach because you never helped me to get in this fucking career. And I'm nothing like you. So you, I'm definitely not your fucking son. I'm a real ass person. You not. So fuck out of here. And I called you that night. Oh, and I got the receipts, babe. All right. There's my phone. I'm going to my camera. That I went all the way up, October 22nd, this was your number, I called you twice and you didn't answer. No, show you, show you, show you, it's from the beginning. And I told my label I'm not doing the video if she don't change her verse. And then you want to talk about how I wanted to be on the Creepy Kush remix and I was trying to stop your back. Sis, what are you talking about? First of all, I didn't even know Bad Bunny back then. That's one. And second of all, for months, I was promoting a Spanish record with Osuna that everybody knew that I was promoting. So what are you talking about? You're the one that be hopping on remixes. So why would I want to hop on a song that was already out in the Latin community for like three, three, four, five months? What are you talking about? But you, but, uh, but let's talk facts now, okay? Now let's talk about how you barked at your managers because they got the, because you and GZ got the same management and you barked at them because they gave me the no limit record, which they presented to you first and you didn't like the record. You didn't believe in the record. Nobody actually believed in the record. Me and GZ, every single time that they climb up the charts, we was extremely excited and you barked at your management because they gave me the record. And that's fucking fact. Then since you're talking about suing and shit because you claiming that Riley beat me up. Sis, I don't got to sue nobody because of a fight. I'm a street bitch. That is called snitching, you know? But since you want to talk about suing, maybe I should sue you for defamation of character since you want to claim that I'm using something illegal called payola because you don't understand why I am so fucking successful. And my thing is, just like every new artist that had a mega hit like SZA, Ella May, after they get a mega hit, everybody wants to listen to them. So why is it that when people want to listen to me, you cannot believe it, that I, I got to be cheating for that? First of all, you was bopping to my shit. Second, my new single came out called Money, right? So my thing is, my single hasn't even impacted their radio yet. And yet, it's doing so good on Apple. It's actually number one on the top, char top charts, all genres on Apple. And that's the same shit that you got your queen radio on. So how can I possibly use Payola on some shit that endorses you? Man, is you shitting me? Ugh. And then, let's talk about the leak number shit, right? Let Tell me if this don't make sense. How come my phone number got leaked one hour after the altercation at the Harper's Bazaar party? Tell me how Mariah Lynn number got leaked a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'm not sure when, you know, that whole Gwyneth situation was happening. And Riley used to have her number. Jason Lee phone number just got leaked recently. And who had his number? Riley. How come everybody that y'all have issues with that... Y'all have the numbers in y'all camp. They numbers got leaked. My sister just got into an argument with Riley, right? Well, how come my sister number haven't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. How come my new number hasn't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. Isn't that fucking 
funny. Ain't that shit fucking funny? Hmm. And then the people that texted my phone, that texted Mariah Lynn phone, that texted Jason Lee phone, were all barbs. You're the common denominator on it. So, you tell me. You fucking tell me. Then, after my sister posted those disturbing text messages. Oh, wait, wait. Let me show ya. This is my phone. Let me go to my text messages. I went all the way down from that fucking same day. Look. Look. This was the one that fucking got me tighted the most. And look. It starts from all the way down here. All the way down here. Oh, and it started all the way from up here. All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. And after my sister... Show those text messages. Look what you do. You go on your Twitter and you start liking shit like this. You start liking shit um, like this. Endorsing that type of nasty ass fucking behavior. Bitch, you're fucking sick in the head. It wasn't doing that much numbers. So why would they waste their time? Then you out here saying that I'm trying to stop your bag, right? But I'm actually helping you get a bag because that diesel deal that you got, yeah, that came to me first. And I had to decline it because I'm already working with fashion brands, you know, which y'all going to see because there's more than Fashion Nova. Then that woman like me record, yeah, I had to decline it because I'm doing a lot of pop records. So I can't, you know, over exaggerate myself. But that came to me first. And then they give it to you. Oh, wait, but let me show you. Not for the juice. One second. This on my media. So you hear that open verse, right? Ah, okay. Okay. Period. Then, since you say you're tired of talking about it, I'm tired of talking about it too. I'm tired of the fucking whole internet shit. I'm tired of the interview shit. If you really want to talk about it. You know where to link me. We could always link up. You know who to reach out. You know we could settle it however you want to settle it. We could talk about it or we could fight it out. I'm with whatever. But I'm sick and tired of that back and forth shit. I'm not doing it. I'm in a good space right now. Let me know what's up. Wait, and then you once said that I never showed you genuine love. And that's crazy because when you pull up all my videos, you see that I'm always showing you respect. Because you're somebody that I listened to ever since I was in high school. And that's crazy to me because I show you respect, but the difference between me and a lot of these bitches, I don't suck your dick. That's the difference. What you need to do is stop focusing on other people, focus on yourself, and focus on your craft because you're out here fucking up your legacy looking like a fucking hater. And basically, if you listen to what Cardi is saying, she's letting y'all niggas know, like, from Jump Street, she has always... You know, show that she respects Nikki. Like she, she like she fucks with her or whatever as an artist. But one thing she never did was suck her dick, and that's something that Nikki really wants from all these girls that's coming up in industry. She wants somebody to suck her off. She wants motherfuckers to make her feel like the queen because she's insecure about her spot. She doesn't want anybody else to come up in her spot. That's why when Remy came out, she did all that bullshit with Remy, and we see what happened with that. Okay. Like, my nigga, at the end of the day, Little Kim was right, bro. Like, she started shit. Like, this shit goes all the way back to 20 fucking 10, my nigga, when Pink Friday first came out, my nigga. And we can't even go back to old Breakfast Club interviews with, with Kim. Y'all know that Nikki don't do interviews with the fucking Breakfast Club anymore because, because they fuck with Kim? Because Charlamagne's cool with Kim? Like... When motherfuckers out here saying that you be trying to stop bags, my nigga, that shit is true. Like, you really be out here, like, barking on niggas because you want that top spot. It's okay to have other people that's up here, my nigga. We could take it back to the 90s, my nigga. I can name a shit ton of female rappers, bruh. And everybody was out at the same time having the same level of success nikki does not want anybody else out here to have the same level of success as her she wants to be at the top and at her big age of 30 fucking six years old 
she's insecure about a 25 year old girl 26 year old girl coming into the industry to take her spot my nigga y'all both can be successful and because you try so hard to be that top bitch your album flopped because your album was ass I just don't understand why it took for another girl to come up in the game for you to just get off your ass. Because you were sitting on your ass for about a good two years. We didn't hear from you. We didn't see you after you and Meek broke up, after y'all did y'all little tour or whatever. After that shit, my nigga, we didn't see you for two straight years. You was off the gram. You was off of Twitter. You was, we did not see you. Paparazzi didn't even have pictures of you, my nigga. But as soon as that girl album was about to drop, you dropped two singles. You dropped two singles right when that girl's album was about to drop. Then her album dropped, you announced her album. Then you pushed that album back. Cardi has held down the summer for two years straight. Bodak Yellow was number one all last summer up until the beginning of this year. I Like It was literally the song of the summer off of that album. That girl was working, pregnant. Every video that Cardi has been in this year, she was pregnant. She has been working. Let's get to the phone leaking situation. Now, do I believe that Nikki personally leaked the numbers? No. Her guard dog did it. Ra Ali, Rashida Ali, that bitch from fucking Love and Hip Hop, that bitch who got her ass whooped by Sky on fucking Black Ink Crew, roll that clip. Scott, what the hell are you doing? That bitch leaked those fucking numbers because how the fuck? Cardi has a fucking point like she said in those clips. But a fucking Mariah Lynn's number got leaked. Jason Lee's number got leaked. Cardi's number got leaked. How the fuck do three people from the fucking Love and Hip Hop franchise, how the fuck did their numbers get leaked? You were all part of that fucking franchise. So how the fuck did everybody's numbers just automatically just all suddenly just getting fucking leaked, my nigga? You're not slick with your big buff ass. Somebody call Sky. Somebody call Sky to whoop this bitch ass again. Because how the fuck? Like, I just don't get it. Like, that shit seemed mad fishy. And then on top of that, like Cardi said, everybody who was texting everybody's fucking phones were barbs. You read those text messages to Cardi's phones, those were from fucking barbs, my nigga. Threatening to kill her child, my nigga? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? If I was Cardi, I'd give all those numbers straight over to the feds. If I know it's fuck 12, then get them numbers over to the feds. And scare the fuck out of all them little motherfuckers. Because who the fuck do y'all think y'all are? Don't see me. We're not gonna stop until your daughter's dead? Alright, bitch, when your mama gets stumped out, then what? What's up? What's up? And we know the barbs are capable of any fucking thing. We've seen these motherfuckers run down on niggas before. So when that story about Mariah Lynn's mom getting jumped came out, my nigga, I 100% believed it. 100% because we know about the barbs running down on niggas. We know about the barbs standing outside protesting shit. Like, my nigga, like I said, I used to be a barb, nigga. I know what goes on in that fucking circle. From time when we were first coming up, my nigga. Before the barbs even had a fucking name, my nigga. I know what goes on in that stand -up. But you know what? I stayed in my lane. Why? Because this bitch don't know me personally. She's not paying me. She's not paying me to bark on niggas. So fuck am I barking on niggas for? You're not giving me no fucking check. And that's what y'all little motherfuckers need to understand. This woman is not paying y'all. Y'all not on her fucking payroll. So y'all doing all this extra shit. Threatening people's kids. Y'all pussy. Y'all are fucking pussy. Period. Just like your fucking leader. Y'all are pussy. Because that bitch sit on that radio station every fucking 
what every fucking month and cap sit there and just fucking cap my nigga she's too grown she's too fucking old to be going through and doing the shit that she's doing too fucking old what you need to be worrying about is that bell pepper ass you got hanging on behind you Cause that shit look nasty that's what you need to be worrying about like i just don't understand how you can sit and then you sitting up in comments like you're not even going to Cardi's page, my nigga, to comment on her shit. You go into the shade room to, to say your piece, my nigga. You going into the you stepping into the shade room to say your piece, my nigga. That that fashion deal, Cardi pulled up receipts on that. Fucking dollar music shit, she pulled up receipts on that. But yet. Y'all grown ass. Y'all grown ass. Stepped into the shade room in the comments. Stop trying to distract everyone about the fact that you lied about Rob beating your head in. Babe, we all we all get deals and turn them down. Same with songs, dummy. Little Mix has been trying to get me on a song for seven years. I finally found one I love. Yes, I passed on g Easy. What's your point, babe? You ever written a rap? Nigga, have you? Like, okay, so I want to talk about that too. For all you little motherfuckers who are sitting around saying that Safari never wrote anything for Nikki, he's never touched a pen on her album or nothing like that. The reason why Safari's not credited on any of Nikki's shit is because they were together. So hopefully he was getting, he was giving her some type of fucking money, my nigga. Hopefully. So when y'all say, oh, he never wrote nothing for her, he don't deserve no royalties, da 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 what is this? What is this? What is this check that he received on his birthday for Did It On Him and Roman's Revenge? What is this? What is this money? What is this? Since it never happened, he never wrote for her. What are these royalties? What was that? What was that? Silence? Crickets? That's the fuck I thought. So y'all motherfuckers think y'all know every fucking thing? Slow your roll. Everybody has proof. Y'all look dumb. Shut the fuck up. Stay in your lane. Be a fan. Buy tickets to your faves tour so that she doesn't have to cancel it again. Oh, you didn't think I was gonna go there. Yeah fucking went there so y'all need to get y'all shit together and start doing y'all part as fans instead of running down on people y'all need to run up them ticket sales y'all need to run up them album sales fuck you me cardi has been number one my nigga she ain't never she ain't never have to go out her way to get that type of respect my nigga y'all fave had to go out her fucking way period I'm sorry. I had to rant about this. I had to go off, my nigga. Like, I'm sorry. Like, there is absolutely no excuse for the shit. It's just, it's just not a thing that should be happening. Period. So, since everybody has receipts, we're gonna so you guys have your receipts. I have my receipts. I just want everyone to sit, to listen, to watch, to pay attention. And understand that this stand shit ain't for everybody. This stand shit ain't for everybody. Bitch, I'm happy my fave minds his motherfucking business. I haven't had to drag nobody in months, okay? I've only been applauding, okay? I've only been applauding, okay? I haven't had to drag anyone in months. You know why? Because everybody that my fave has had beef with, they tighten the fuck up. Y'all just seen his ass on stage with Drake, and that's been a beef for about eight, nine years. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so, with that being said, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. I probably won't do a video like this every week, but when something major goes on, then I'll do it. 
But for right now, I'm fucking done, okay? This right here has been Let's Talk Real Talk with your girl, Lysha Maurice, you know? With your girl, Lysha Maurice. Um, it, like I said before, it's very unfortunate that we're not doing like the audio podcast anymore because I really enjoyed doing it. Um, we did it for a year. It was a great run. You know, Genios is my fucking brother. Like, you know, that's my right hand man. You know, I have nothing but the utmost respect for that man. And I wish we could have continued the show. Maybe we'll come back as a duo in the future. But for right now, Let's Talk Real Talk will be on my channel right here on YouTube. Um... If anything, I probably would throw the audio up on SoundCloud, but I don't be really wanting to pay that SoundCloud bill every month. So, um, yeah, it is what it is with that. Um, Love you guys to the fullest. Um, You guys know my social medias. Twitter, underscore, LeshaMarie63. Instagram, BlueRebelX3. Snapchat, LushMarie63. Uh, if you want to hear me rant some more about this bullshit and play some video games, head over to twitch.tv slash Um There should be a video up before this of me doing the <laughs> spicy noodle challenge. I did that over on my Twitch channel. That was probably like one of my first home IRL streams. So that's highlight should be up here if you guys want to see my mom do the challenge the rest of it is over on twitch.tv um as a highlight so you guys can go over there and check that out as well um but don't forget to like comment and subscribe share the fuck out of this video so make sure all the barbs see it i don't give a fuck y'all can destroy this comment section i probably won't fucking see it won't read it won't give a fuck like i said like comment subscribe all that shit big youtubers say turn on that but hit that bell so that you don't miss my pretty face anymore. And I will see you guys in my next video. Which will probably be Cloud Chasers. Because I got a lot of shit to talk about. I need Cloud Chasers. <laughs> oh! And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>